so I'm now in, um, this is the latest prototype uh, from the Infinite guys and I'm looking around the familiar Tuscany demo and I say looking around, I'm not really having to look around that much because as I, as I stand here I can see the table all the way to almost to the left leg as I'm standing here so you can see that on the left monitor and on the right hand side I can see all the way to the edge of the fireplace and I don't have to turn my head to see that, I can just see it um, it's, it's impressive, it, it matches, oh, that's quite weird, um, it matches your uh, human FOV much closer, obviously it's got a higher FOV and it feels, it feels more natural, it feels, there's a, uh, so the, the horizontal uh, is, is impressive, there's a slight clipping at the top where the vertical FOV um, is, is less, so you can see all around you from left to right, which is really cool and you very soon start to just accept the image. So if you start going close to an object, um, like this. Straight ahead, put set the view. So if I start going here, and close to here, it feels as if you're, because you can see all the way, your peripheral vision is taking in the whole staircase all the way down to the left. It feels as if your cheek is resting on the, uh, on the staircase because your, your brain can process the image all the way down past, past my ear and it kind of just accepts it in a much more natural way. There are some, um, so the chromatic aberration is, is there for sure. It's not terrible by any means, but if you, in high contrast areas like this, you've got the, the, the lower contrast against the bright sky, you have um, color separation uh, when you're looking at it. But it's, it's not terrible. You, because your brain is taking in the rest of the image, it soon sort of forgets about the rest of it. There are some other artifacts which are the, I guess, caused by the, uh, uh, the scoring on the fresnel, fresnel lenses, so there's sort of like a moire, very, very, very faint, really, you have to really look for it, very sort of a moire uh, type pattern, I guess, caused by the, I'm not sure what the, what the scientific terms are, it's like a, an arcing of, of where the, the plastic on the lenses is, uh, is formed. But that's only on, on high contrast, so if I look at the sky, I can see it slightly, but look away and it's, it completely disappears. And all you're left with is this, this wonderful high FOV, like you've just been dropped into the world feeling. And the guys, uh, this is running on uh, this is running on Linux, and uh, it's running, it's quick, it's no jitter, and I can, I'm happy to, to, to report that as far as I can tell, the frame syncing between the two monitors is, is absolutely perfect. I can't detect any strangeness. I've, I've, I've experienced frame desync uh, between the left and right eye before and it instantaneously screws your brain and you can, you can feel it immediately and that's not happening yet at all that I can tell. It's just very natural looking around. So like I said, the only, uh, it, because the, the horizontal FOV is so good, the only thing that, that may be slightly distracting is the, is the vertical FOV at the top. You can see a, a sort of a, a halo of, of dark where the, uh, the contrast, uh, where the screen and the lenses drop off. But skimming the floor like this is <laughs> is a really, really crazy experience. So let's go through these rocks. It feels as if the, the, the ground is rubbing on my chin and I can, I can feel the grass around me. It's really, really cool. And heading up to the gap here and then sitting here between the two pillars, they're still in my vision, still in my peripheral vision, still in my peripheral vision. Only now is it completely out and they're just to the left and right there. It's extremely cool. I want one now. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs>